What's up guys, I hope you all are doing great. Now before I start this video, I just want to thank each and every one of you for 500 subscribers. Honestly, it's pretty insane to me that 500 people are actually interested to see what I post. And Now, in case you haven't subscribed already, go hit that subscribe button right now. And also make sure to hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload from me. Alright, now let's get to the topic at hand. By the way, the remainder of the video is going to be of footage which was taken like a week ago because I was editing right now and I realized that the clip of me talking about this stuff is like lost. I think I deleted it by mistake. Recently, I uploaded a video about how to structure your own meal plan, talked about macros and stuff. Some of you all got back to me saying that you don't know the basics on how to count calories. Especially on Indian food because I agree now in the beginning, I was struggling a lot with how to count calories like with Indian food like dal, rajma and stuff like that. And it really used to bother me a lot. But you don't need to complicate stuff. I'm just quickly going to show you how I do it. Okay, so now I'm having French toast with chocolate sauce. And now when you're having something like this, you don't directly just put French toast and enter it. Because that's going to be inaccurate. Because everything, all the different types of French toast are different. Instead, you're going to separately put in the ingredients. Like, for example, here I have six slices of bread. So I'm going to put six slices of bread. And also I have four eggs. And then I have a little bit of chocolate sauce. I usually don't add the chocolate sauce because I'm bulking and every single calorie doesn't matter to me. If you're on a cut, I would suggest you to actually consider each and every calorie because it's important. By the way, one quick tip for all the hard gainers out there that need 4,000-5,000 calories to gain weight. You want to finish your meals as fast as you can. So I really recommend you guys not to multitask while eating food. Like you can be on your phone and stuff but make sure you finish it as fast as you can. Because if you can finish each meal even 10 to 15 minutes earlier, that will probably help you get in another few extra 100 calories by the end of the day. Also another thing that I've been doing recently is, after each bite, just have a sip of water and you're going to swallow it much quicker, which will help you finish your meal faster. I know it sounds gross to some of you, but if you get used to it, it's really going to help you. Alright, so before I head out, I just want to give you guys some examples of Indian food and how I calculate the calories and what all I enter in my fitness pal or whatever app you're using. The number one rule is, and I just mentioned it, is that if you have a food item made up of many ingredients, you're not gonna put in the food item as a whole. For example, let's just stick to aloo parathas. Every aloo paratha is different in size and different in terms of the ratio between aloo and the wheat. Instead, what I want you to do is weigh your potato separately and weigh your wheat separately and then enter them. So that's the basic rule. Now let's talk about semi-solid or liquid foods. For example, stuff with gravy like dal, rajma, chana, stuff like that. For example, let's talk about dal. Now you wanna search for either uncooked or cooked and the ones that aren't mentioned, just stay away from them because it's gonna be a huge difference between cooked and uncooked. Like even for rice, the weight before boiling and after boiling is huge. So whether it's uncooked or cooked, it really makes a difference. So please take it seriously. Now once you have it, now once you have it down, for example here you see dal is cooked. So basically I'm just gonna weigh it cooked. Now even then there is a slight margin of error but it's not that much, it really depends on the water content and the thickness. And I really think that it's not enough for you to actually crib over it. That the way you weigh your food. And just make sure that the way you weigh, the way you weigh And just make sure that the manner in which you weigh your food is always gonna be... And just make sure that the manner in which you weigh your food has to always be standardized. Just pick one way and just keep going with it. You'll, for example, when it comes to rajma, you'll just find rajma curry over there, which is cooked. It doesn't really make that much of a difference for you to crib over it. Now let's come to bindi. Now bindi is something I eat every single day. And if you're bulking, I really think that you don't even need to enter it in my fitness pal. Because the, no the number of calories in bindi is like pretty much negligible. Bindi is ladyfinger by the way. But if you're on a cut, you should take into consideration the oil that goes into that. So around one or two tablespoons. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Also, I'll quickly mention that if you're having rotis, you really need to weigh them, especially if you're on a cut. The rotis in MyFitnessPal each weigh 50 grams. So if you're having rotis which are like 60, 70, 80 grams, then you gotta adjust. This segment, I just wanted to clear some stuff up. And uh, now I'm gonna head out to Ishan's place. What a 
you are putting this bro you saw everything mm. no but if i do it it won't taste the same mm. So you have got a 6x6 and 70% of 230 is 160. Yeah. So we are actually really excited to try it out. Even though it won't be RP10. Yeah, really I checked out some results on YouTube and everyone has put on at least 15 to 20 pounds on their bench and 50 to 60 pounds on their squat. So I'm excited to try it out. Yeah. So yeah, this will really fix up our technique. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. This will really fix up our technique. If you guys remember him from like one of our earlier videos, he's also joined a world. Just kidding, you had five more. Be boring, bro. I know. But yeah. as long as yeah. I see results, I don't mind. Yeah, that's true. 10 by 3 will actually be. 10 fun. by 3 will. It'll be challenging at least. Yeah. This was damn boring, bro. Give me my shoes, bro. I can't bend. Back started cramping. You should have to bend. On my sixth set. What a weakling. All right, so this is the last meal of the day. That's three rotis and uh, bindi. Each, each roti weighs 50 grams. So yeah, that's another point. Oh, I think I mentioned it already in this video. All my Indian bros, you need to weigh your rotis before like entering them into MyFitnessPal because each of them weighs each of them weighs different, and the one in MyFitnessPal is like uh, 50 grams, I think. So yeah, these are 50 gram ones, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
If you did leave a like, go ahead and subscribe. Oh,